Hello everyone, Mr. Hadley here and welcome to Wednesday's video. I hope you've all had a great week so far. Today's lesson is called a See Me As Self-Portrait. And if you're gonna follow along, all you'll need is a pencil and a piece of paper. And an eraser if you have it. If you don't, that's okay too. As always, these videos are for whenever you would like to use them or not. It's okay just to watch if you don't wanna follow along, totally cool. Uh, this particular self-portrait does not require, but you could uh, make a drawing of your face because I want you to learn that there are more ways to make a self-portrait than just using a drawing of your face. In order to get you started, I'm gonna show you how I started my See Me As self-portrait. And as I said a little bit before, uh, all you're gonna need is a pencil, maybe with an eraser, if you don't have one, that's okay, a pencil and a paper. First, what I want us to do is we're gonna do our best to start thinking about words. Yes, words. Words that we can use to describe ourselves. You're not gonna think of words to describe Mr. Hadley. I want you to think of words that describe you, otherwise known as adjectives. I want you to make a short list or a small list on the piece of paper with your pencil of some words that you think describe you, adjectives. Before I started writing down my words um, on the piece of paper, I actually used this list and you can feel free to uh, pause the video on this list if you would like to, that's okay too. There's actually a still image of this list uh, right on the video right now. Um, as you can see, I put small dots or small circles next to some words that you could put on your list. Um, we're really only gonna use, we're only gonna use one of the words you write down on the list, so the list does not have to be long at all. Come up with like two or three words that you think help describe you. So feel free to pause the video and come up with some words. So once you've had time to look at that list and you come up with some words in your head, I want you to write them down um, in a small list. Here is my small list of words that I would use to describe me. I want your words to be words that you would use to describe you. And after I make my list, after you make your list, I want you to circle um, one of the words, because I said we're only gonna use one of them uh, for now. Just circle one of the words that you wanna focus on. I'm gonna circle the word curious. And what I want you to do after you circle the word is you can flip your paper over or you can use another piece of paper if you have more than one piece of paper. Um, and I want you to write that word that you circled larger on the other side, all right, like this. You can write the word however you wanna write it. You can write it just like this, bigger, and leave it plain. Uh, you could write it maybe cur uh, cursive, okay? You could write it upside down. You could choose to write it vertically. You could choose to write it diagonally. As long as you can read the word, it's okay. You could draw, make it wavy. You could write it diagonally. All right, this is your word to choose, okay? You don't have to choose the word curious. I just chose that because it was on my list, all right? And I like that word. I think it describes me pretty well. As long as you can read the word, that's okay. So the next step after that is going to be, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the word that you wrote larger, okay? And then you're gonna add detail to it, all right? Notice how in this example here, there's more than just the word written in pencil. If all you have is pencil, that's okay, but you can use the pencil to start adding some more detail, all right? And what I did for this, for this next step here, after you have this, what I did was I actually went back to the lettering and I kind of made it a different style than just what it looks like right now. So you see you have that and you go to this. I changed the style of the lettering a little bit. And what does this style of lettering remind you of? I know it reminds me of street art. I really, really like street art. I like the way graffiti art text looks. So that's the style that I stuck with. And I can show you a little bit about how I went about that right now. Meanwhile, Mr. Halley decided to include this little bit in right here because he wanted to go over quickly about the text. Uh, you don't have to choose the graffiti style, all right? You can go around, you know, observe other kinds of written words, uh, maybe practice the way that those are written. You know, there are all sorts of texts out there that people use to write with, right? It's all around us. And cereal boxes too. And this piece, this project can take a while. 
you know, depending on how much you practice, think about what kind of text you want to use or what kind of drawings you want to include, okay? So I just wanted to let you know that there are other ways to figure out what kind of text, what kind of writing you would like to use. So look around you, observe. All right, so the point is not to have something like this at the end of today. If you just have this started, that's okay. Also, if you're just if you're not following along, you're just watching the video, that's totally cool too, all right? This took me days, weeks to do, all right, to get to this part. So I'm just gonna show you quickly a little bit about how I started the graffiti style text and what you can do afterwards um, when you have the text um, almost completely done. So I'm gonna put this over here right now. All right. So I have the word curious, all right? Maybe you have a word as well. Maybe you're still thinking about it, that's cool too. So what I did first was, with my pencil, and this kind of goes back to a lesson, uh, if you watched my first video um, with sketchbooks with Mr. Hadley, I did a little bit of this uh, before. The first thing I did was this, I actually outlined the text um, right here. So I outlined the letter C, U, R, I, O, U, S, and I did it like this, with my pencil. So you're making it a little bit more bold. You're making the letters thicker. And you don't have to do this. This is just one way. All right. And then after that step, if you have an eraser, cool. If not, that's okay too. Uh, what I did was I took my eraser and I actually erased the inside lines that I wrote down first. So that's what I did there. It looks a little different than this, just because I did go back. So this is what I have now. It does look a little bit different than this, only because I went back with my pencil and my eraser, and I kind of changed the shapes a little bit of each letter. So I erased that line a little bit. Maybe make this a little bit curvy. Maybe if I erase this line on the U a little bit, and I make this a little bit curvy. Maybe I erase this line on top of the U a little bit, and I bring that up a little bit. So now I start to make shapes that are actually going outside the letters. Erase the upper line on this R, erase the lower line on that U. Maybe make this a little bit bigger. Okay? And you can do that with all the letters. Now the next step after that, depending on your word, I have the word curious here, and I wrote more words down after that step, after making this text look a little bit more bold. Again, if you just left it the way that you had it before, that's fine too. But if you want to start adding lines and designs, other shapes, that's all right as well. You can add other words too. You know, I have the word questions. I have the word paint because I would use those words to describe who I am. And I use colors that I like as well and shapes and designs that I like drawing. So this is kind of a lesson that, you know, doesn't really, I don't want it to require stress, right? I just want it to be something that you think describes who you are. And in reality, any drawing that you actually make does describe who you are. It's kind of the, um, one of the secrets of art, I think, is like no matter what kind of art that you make, It describes you in some sort of way.
So do your best just to enjoy yourself while you're making this drawing. Maybe you're still coming up with a word. Maybe you don't want to come up with a word. Maybe you just want to draw. I call it a see me as self-portrait because this is how I want people to see me as. You know, without having to tell them, I want the art to speak for itself. See me as, see Mr. Hadley as curious. He has questions. He likes to paint. And if you've made it to this point in the video, thank you for following along. I know it's been a little confusing. But the more that you add with the pencil, the more you can start to go back, you know, and go over those lines like we do in art class with a Sharpie or a marker or a crayon or a colored pencil, all right? You can start to add colors to this. So that maybe someday you can go from having just a pencil drawing, but pencil drawings are fine, to having a little bit more detail. I'm sure a lot of you can come up with really, really cool pencil drawings, too. All right? So that's my see me as self-portrait, all right? With words, shapes, colors, art that describes who we are. If you've watched all the video up to this point, thank you so much for following along. I know that was a little bit confusing, but I really wanted to start focusing on, you know, thinking about ourselves in a good way, in a positive way. Um, sharing who we are with other people, uh, rather than drawing our face um, and rather than just kind of explaining it using words um, spoken out loud. You know, I want you to think about words in your head um, and then people can read those words on your artwork and get the idea, all right? That was the idea of the See Me As self-portrait, is to come up with words to describe ourselves and share those words along with some drawings, okay? So thank you so much for following along. If you did, awesome. If you did not follow along, you just watched it, that's okay too. Uh, look for another video on Friday, and I will see you all then. Bye!